Hey you guys, how's it going? Uh, going good over here. I've got a crown chakra candle um, lit for us today and it's the scent of frankincense, which is beautiful. Um, and um, today's the fifth and I know I didn't get a perm in my hair. <laughs> looking at myself going, ah, okay, something different. I'm letting you see my mane. I let out my braids, right? Uh, it was time to, uh, well, you're seeing me before I get in the shower. <laughs> I will do the braids again. It was really fun. I have a friend that is just great at it, but something about letting you see me with my hair like this today, there was a message in it. I'm feeling very lioness. Okay. And, you know, I'm le yeah, letting the hair free out, flowy, you know, look at how curly it is. I feel my father's presence and spirit here going, oh, you have my, because he had naturally curly hair. I feel like uh, he's just like, oh, it's so beautiful. And for the longest time until I became pregnant, I had straight as board hair, just like my mother. But as I'm getting older, it's wavy. But this has a lot to do with the braids. But underneath, there's... I think this is about letting my natural beauty shine. That's what this is. And that's what he's saying, too. That he's proud that I am. Right? Right. So let's see what the messages are for today. Today's the fifth. The fairies are flying out. They love it. I feel like I've put on my cloak of my natural beauty for you today. Or, you know, whatever. My natural essence for you to see today. And I love doing these readings by candlelight. Um, so today's a five, right? Five is all about transformation and change and trust that everything, all the divine detours, everything that might be happening in your life that you're like, what the, right? Okay. Just flow with it. Release with grace. Okay. Trust that spirit's got your back and is actually, when you're seeing a lot of the fives is moving things around for you, knows what you want and it's coming to you. Pointing fingers. Uh, and if you hear my cat in the background, she may make appearance. You never know, uh, but she's she's in heat going through one of her little spells. So you might hear her mewing in the background too. So, oh, the unicorn is out today. I love it. We've got 10, 20, card 10, card 20, and card number three. Okay. The first fairy out is the littlest fairy. Appreciate the beauty and the value of the exquisite and small. Okay. See this fairy here is sitting in this um, very nurturing pose, okay? She's holding herself. She's loving herself, okay? She's loving her inner child. It's very much... Um, like a fetal position, kind, you know, like when we're in the womb and she sits atop a toadstool. She's a very little fairy. And this is about really appreciating all that you do have, you know, um, in your life. Uh, and aren't the littlest things the most exquisite anyways, right? So appreciate the beauty and the value of all things, of all experiences, right? The you know, the blessings in disguise is what spirit is saying, okay? Um, and also that, you know, the more that we have this attitude of gratitude for what we do have, it's a high vibration, more of that will flow into your world, okay? The uh, Riddle Fisher's out next, okay? Divination, seeking out and finding answers, okay? I also feel like this is like really getting to know you, what makes... The small things that make you happy again, right? And that you're seeking out and finding answers. And you are connecting, like doing, figuring out your, um, like what your ancient magics are. Connecting with water. Connecting with, you know, prayer. And um, connecting with spirit. Um, and uh, can we... You, because your crown chakra has been open because your third eye has been open. Okay. And also this seeking and finding out thing, like let go of the things that are lost. Sometimes it's like we hold on to, 
um, just for instance, let's just take a crystal, you know, like you lose a crystal and you, you know, it really bugs you, you know, like I just want to find my crystal and you know, where did I put it? And I'm going crazy in my mind, retracing my steps and this and that, and that really takes us out of the moment. So what, you know, if it's lost and it's meant to come back to you, trust that it will. Okay. All right. But you're also like diving deeper within yourself and diving deeper within esoteric knowledge um, and learning more, um, which is only helping you to heal and help others too. And yeah, you're connecting with your magic, with your intuition, right? With all of these sites that, you know, you can hear things, you can smell things, you can, you know, it's like, it's your rebirth, okay? It is. You're this brand new babe in this beautiful world, creating, manifesting, you know, um, and healing so many traumas of the past. And you're connected with the magical unicorn, the maiden and the unicorn, okay? Communication with the unicorn, unicorn, purification and undercover action. There's much going on behind the scenes, okay? Much magic is being worked. Look at that bright sunshine that's almost blinding in this card in the background, okay? Ten is an ending and a new beginning, right? Twenty, card twenty-two. Twos are all about duality, embracing deeper truths about, you know, some of the darker aspects of ourselves too, and loving them and bringing them to the light. Okay. Um, so yeah, you've been during this Virgo full, full moon, this, this snow moon that we had, it's really where our souls are going through this purification, this cleansing process. Right. And so, yeah. And now once you've been through that, you see how the unicorn and the maiden are connected here at the crown, you know, I'm burning a crown chakra candle, right? The activation within the crown, light coats streaming in, you know, and you are not alone and things are happening and being worked out behind the scenes for you, darlings. So trust, let go of control, right? Um, there's a... Facebook page I follow, Sister Shanti, okay, and she posted a video just a few days ago about a lot of us light workers who feel like, you know, you know, we're trusting, we know we have this divine mission, and we're just kind of paused and, like, ready to go, like, things may be happening in our world, which is actually for Ren and I really changing, and we're just, you know, not holding on to the past, letting it flow, waiting for our, um, like, orders or our next mission or whatever, you know, I know it sounds kind of weird, but trusting in that and um, kind of like we're all like on this ship waiting for our orders and we're just kind of in this transition zone, you know, and that we have faith and we know that, you know, we'll always be provided for and that this is our transformation. It's, um, it's a death of an old way of being and a birth of a new life, right? Okay butterfly came out for you darlings yes that always speaks to transformation and this is beautiful don't rush the process is what i hear from spirit yeah any other animals that want to come out whoa one that flew that way one that flew that way did you see that that was pretty cool i love you animals the kitty cat yeah yes i told you i was feeling a little cat like lioness today claim your independence card 13 okay when you find out these deeper answers within your truth and your in your own magic it becomes a beautiful transformation together these cards make a 13 and then here's another 13 right okay so and the cat is playful the cat cat does what it wants to do the cat sits wherever it wants the you the world will adjust to you it's time for you to walk on that catwalk. Feel your own vibration. Let it shine. Yes. What other animal came out to play? Oh, you want... <laughs> Animals want to confirm with an 1111 11 today. An 1111. 11. There you go. The butterfly is an 11. The lizard. The lizard is card 38, which is an 11. Dream your world into being. It is, yes, you are connected with the angels, with the ascended masters, with your star family, okay? 
and you are manifesting your reality and things are working on, just hang tight, okay? Just do the things that you love to do and explore and discover yourself again while you're waiting for your orders. <laughs> and be playful, okay? The squirrel's coming in reminding of us that the cat does, okay? And like the butterfly is so light and flowy, right? And how they grace us with their presence, fly in and out, you know? Take many paths. It may, may be multiple things that makes you truly happy. Try all of them, okay? And then dream, keep your thoughts positive. Keep them juicy and creative. I mean, delicious. You are creating this reality, all right? Trust, have faith. I love you guys. Trust in yourself, darlings. You know, right? So, if this reading resonated with you, give me a thumbs up, comment below, share these videos on your timeline, in your groups. We love you so much. And if you can donate, that helps our channel too. And um, I'm loving this new vibe. I'm loving the vibration. I feel like I'm slowly, slowly, like, getting my groove back. It feels good, you know? But it takes going in, within. It takes going, like, for me, I became a bear and I hibernated for, like, well over a month, you know, and I'm still not completely out of hibernation, but I'm like looking over the cave. Right? Right. Love you guys. Take care of you today. Okay. Let the changes happen that may flow today. Remember, today is a five. Just let it flow, babes. Okay. Love you.